friends! We just finished our worship time here at the Seventh Day Adventist Church in Colorado, Life Source. It was a wonderful Sabbath, and I hope you had a blessed Sabbath too. And I just realized that we are a beautiful family wherever we go. The Seventh Day Adventist Church is so kind and so beautiful. We are privileged to have this family church because wherever we go, we meet new friends, we find old friends, and the whole world is like we are connected with each other. And that's gonna be wonderful when we meet everyone in heaven because Jesus is coming and he's gonna take us home. He loves us so much and he gave his life for us. So he's calling us to work for him. And that's what the pastors talk about today, that he's calling to give our talents, to give everything to him, to serve him. And we are living in the last days of the history of this world. Think about it, how wonderful it's gonna be in heaven when Jesus comes and how much more people need to know about Jesus. And you are the one that Jesus can use today to bring more people to the kingdom of God. So we are here to celebrate the Sabbath, this beautiful day, and here to fellowship with one another. And I wanna tell you, if you don't, did you not give your heart to Jesus yet? That's the time, that's the day because Jesus is coming and we hope everyone can meet him and be ready for his coming because he is forgiving, he is loving, he is faithful and he prepared a house for us, beautiful, more beautiful than any nature we can see here in this world. It's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be immortal. We are gonna receive a new, brand new body that never is gonna die. Can you imagine that? It's gonna be amazing. So I hope everyone, use your talents for the kingdom of God, put your hands, consecrate yourself to Jesus and give everything to him because we belong to him and he is our strength, our power, and he is everything. He's the one that created us and he's the one that sustains us. Don't focus on your problems. Don't focus on the problems you're going through. Don't focus on the challenges. Focus on Jesus and what he can do through all this. Focus on what the blessings he's gonna work out through because everything works for good for those that love him. Everything is amazing good. He has blessed us beyond measure because he loves us. And that's why we are here because he loves us and he's coming back to take us home. Have a blessed day and keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Bye-bye.